If you are someone preparing for JEE mains 2025 then this video is especially for you. Today I have Utkarsh who have scored 99 percentile in physics that also in his last 4 months and he will guide you in this video to make you the god of physics. So if your preparation is not up to the mark in physics for JEE mains especially then make sure you watch this video until the very end and also share this video with all of your friends who really want to improve their physics. So without any further ado let's shift our camera Hi Utkarsh. Hello, Bhaiya. So, let me tell you about Utkarsh. Basically, while his preparation for JMS 2024, he got some health issues, and uh, because of which he was unable to prepare very well. And at last, he was just having four months, and in which he struggled. He worked so hard and prepared very much, and was able to secure that 99 percentile in physics, and overall of 97 point six percent. Yeah, overall of 97 point six percentile, which is a really great percentile. And now our viewers, like your juniors, are also preparing for JE 2025, and that is also like three months ahead. Now, give your strategy and. Analysis of physics, what you have followed, and all. Over to you. Hi everyone. When it comes to physics in JE, it's all about your concepts and its clarity. It's not about memorizing formulas. It's about applying them and understanding the principles behind them. If you truly grasp the concepts, you will be able to solve any kind of questions in physics. But if you are just relying on rote learning, even a simple tricky question can throw you off, and you will spend way too much time spending on just a single question. For example, you might know the formula for induced EMF, which is minus d pi by dt. If the question asks you about the direction of flux, however, without understanding the concept, you won't be able to answer the question if they asked you for any kind of direction of induced current. If we look at the trends over the past few years, we'll see that as the level of mathematics is increasing. we can see that physics is getting way much easier and the questions are being asked direct if you even know the formula and concept behind it you will be able to solve the question in no time in physics the question are asked so that they can test your ability to solve questions after understanding them and applying the correct formulas and remember in any competitive examination like je your goal isn't to solve each and every question but to solve as many questions as you can in the smartest way possible so instead of being intimidated think of physics as your ally and grab this opportunity to score much more than mathematics focus on the right topics and show your skill to solve each and every problem in the shortest way possible that was great utkarsh so i also want to add one point if you are preparing for je then there might be three several categories under which you might fall based on the marks that you are getting in the mock tests and all so you might be a beginner you might be a intermediate student you might be an advanced student like who have already done so many things but this video will be covering each and every strategy that is required for each and every category of the student with that let's move to the weightage and the important questions that you have to prepare for your physics exam so over to you utkarsh it is very important to sort all the chapters according to their weightage and prepare accordingly physics tends to give high weightage topic like mechanics electrostatics modern physics and kinematics and make sure to focus on electrostatics and modern physics as these topics are relatively a bit easier to score in je mains i have given you a table in which i have sorted all the chapters according to their weightage yes so this is really important so i want to add some points on this table as you can see over the screen so we have divided into three several parts one is most important and another is average and another is least important chapters so these are on the basis of their weightage in the most important chapter also you have to start with the green highlighted chapters which are really comparatively easier uh, based on our analysis but it depends on your case also because there might be some chapters which are marked green by us but you face difficulty for example it could be motion in 1d which you might feel difficult but some other student might feel it easier so based on our analysis and overall analysis we have given you some set of chapters which you can start with right away and you can just list these chapters down in a paper or somewhere take a screenshot and take a print out of it and paste it somewhere in your room and start preparing one by one and start completing those chapters day by day once the most important chapters are finished you can switch to the average chapters and then at last you can do the least important chapters and the red mark chapters if you have more time and one of the suggestion if you are good at gravitation you will be good at electrostatics because they both have many similar topics and another important thing if you are not able to solve at least 75 to 80% of the pyqs in the chapter you are in and if you feel confident in that chapter you should do at least 80% of the pyqs and then only you can jump to the next chapter without doing so if you are jumping into the next chapter 
you will be facing some difficulties. I would suggest you to particularly focus on electrostatics, modern physics, current electricity, gravitation, and kinematics. As we have discussed about the weightage and important chapters, now let's discuss what books you have to follow if you are in a beginner level, intermediate level, or in an advanced level. So over to you, Utkarsh. So if you are at a basic level, I would suggest you to go for NCRT. And most people say that don't do NCRT, it's way too easy, or go for another resource and then jump to NCRT. I would suggest you to watch some lectures, then do NCRT examples, and then go for NCRT index questions. And trust me, those examples are very important, even for your boards and JE mains. Along with this, you can solve PYQs and question banks. I personally practice from Disha publications. If you are at intermediate level, you should go for HC Verma. It is the mixture of both easy and difficult problems. And these questions will get you a strong hold in the concepts. And also I remember solving HC Verma. It consists of combination questions. Uh, for example, if two concepts are similar, like for example, like gravitation and electrostatics, then you can find these combination questions in HC Verma. Then you can practice those and make your grip strong for your JE means. So this is one of the benefit of solving HC Verma. And next you can move to the advanced level. If you are at advanced level, your concepts are already cleared and you are probably at the verge of ending your syllabus. So I would suggest you to practice as much questions as you can to build your approach and go for advanced questions. DC Pante is a very good book to solve questions from and make sure to see all the illustrations given. You'll get a different perspective of seeing the solutions if you see all the illustrations given in that book. And also don't go for many books. I've seen students be in a fear that they're friend is solving from another book so they should also solve from that and also don't go for olympiad books if your sole goal is je now as we have discussed about the books that they have to follow based on their level right and i would say previous year question book is really important even if you are in any level because that will give you an understanding on how the nta is preparing the questions now as physics is a game of uh, formulas and derivations and all now let's move to the prerequisites and formulas and derivations so over to you so for prerequisites ensure that you have a strong grip on basic calculus because integration and differentiation plays important role in mechanics and also you should have knowledge of logarithms and basic knowledge of graphs. Now this is done with the prerequisites. Now let's move to the formulas and derivations. Certain formulas like law of gravitation and kinematics equation can be memorized directly. You can find some similar patterns in the formulas like in gravitation you'll find some formulas similar to some formulas in electrostatics. And for electrostatics you should remember some derivations and make sure to understand them completely because in these chapters, you will solve problems related to the derivation of these formulas. Focus on topics like Coulomb's law, electric potential energy, and capacitors. Now, there are some constants that you should remember, like Planck's constant, speed of light, gravitational constant, Boltzmann constant, and many more. Although most of the times, these constants will be given in the questions, just in case if they are not given, then it's better to remember them. And please note that even if your concept is right, but the value you have written is wrong, it will cost you. Now Utkarsh, as we have discussed about the books, then we have discussed about the prerequisites, and we have also discussed about the formulas, derivations, constants that they have to memorize for their preparation. Now there are certain chapters that we are discussing which are uh, related to each other. Let's discuss about the combinations of chapters. So in JE mains, you may encounter questions which are applying multiple concepts at the same time. For example, in oscillations and gravitation, they might ask you that if in an elevator there is a pendulum and it's swinging and you have to find the number of oscillations it is making and they will give you some certain conditions too. Another example will be electrostatics and current electricity. They might ask you to solve a circuit and find the potential between two points and it will consist of resistors as well as capacitors. The last example will be kinematics and rotational dynamics. They might ask you about a rolling body the body is rotating in a plane and simultaneously it is moving too. And to solve these questions, you have to clear the basics of this chapter, solve some questions and then only you can work around with them. So if you are finding it difficult to solve these kind of questions, you can go back to the basics, watch some lectures and go for a marathon video. In that marathon, the teacher will be solving some PYQs and you should keep in mind that you are learning the way they are solving the questions. It will help you build a new perspective and a new approach to how, how to solve a question. 
now as we are discussing about approaching towards a question now let's also discuss in depth like share your experience on how we should how a student should approach whenever there is a question he encounters like in exam or in mock test or anywhere how a student should approach to these questions and all let's discuss on that some of the aspirants can't instantly think of a solution and they can't think how i will approach this question so for this i have three tips so firstly you can do topic wise question practice try to dive directly into the pyqs solve them and if you can see the solution even if you are able to solve them you should still go for the solution and see how the author is solving the question it will help you build a greater approach secondly a focus on pattern recognition will also help if you are doing same kind of problem again and again if you are able to memorize the formulas used in it if it comes in the final paper of je you will be able to relate and solve that question instantly and the third point is to see all the illustrations given in the book it will help you build a perspective and a different kind of approach in which you solve the problem to solve questions in a more efficient manner you should watch some question marathons in which the teacher will be solving the questions see that video and dive into the pyqs start solving and see if you can do the right approach or not in my case i was weak in mechanics so what i did is i saw other people solve the problem and then by watching them i built my own approach and solved the question myself and if you are struggling with the conceptual part of that question draw a diagram if it's necessary and you can watch some videos byju's have excellent videos on conceptual practice and here is a bonus tip if you are struggling to memorize any kind of formula you should first clear your concept and try to derive that formula by yourself and after that make sure to solve 10 to 20 problems from that same formula now as we have closed the approaching towards a question now let's discuss about how to solve those questions like pyqs sample papers mock tests and all so this is also really important when we are studying for physics so let's discuss on this over to you solving previous year questions is super crucial and you should do those pyqs in time bound manner that will help your brain to train for exam like pressure and remember to give a chapter wise mock test after you have completed the chapter if you have any weak topic you can go back and see which topic are you weak in revise it and solve the problems based on that topic again for my case i have practiced pyqs and mock tests from mark sap and also of course i also i want to add a point so what i used to do is i used to follow some of the marathon series which used to do by some of the channels you can find it in youtube by watching those marathon series what you can do is you will understand what approach the teacher is taking towards solving a specific problem and you should not just binge watch it instead you should practice some of the similar kind of questions because those are pyqs you will find several other similar questions on the same kind of topics so this is overall suggestions and tips on previous year questions and mock tests now let's move to the routine of yours because you were preparing in the last four months how what is the kind of routine how frequently you used to study the physics chapter in a day how many hours you used to put for physics and all you can discuss about that okay. so in my case i used to wake up revise the things i have studied earlier and do pyqs based on them some students do marathon they are as long as 6 to 12 hours and i would not suggest to do that i used to watch lectures as long as 2 to 3 hours and then afterwards i used to sit and solve problems for around 4 to 6 hours after these long sessions you can take breaks in my case i used to take my dog for a stroll come back and actively solve pyqs again and i used to give mock test very frequently around 4 to 5 times a week and whenever you are giving the mock test make sure to follow the paper attempt strategy now as we have came to the paper attempt strategy let's tell them whenever they start their physics section how should they start their paper like how, what easy questions they have to do like how the questions they have to how they should mark their questions like difficult questions and all so that they can save their time effectively and score more while solving the paper because even if you prepare so much at the end you have that one hour or specifically 40 to 50 minutes in your three hours of duration in your final exam and you should follow a perfect strategy which i believe uh, you will share with the paper item strategy and over to you before solving the questions you should go through the whole section and see which questions can you do start with your strongest topics and don't waste much time on the questions which you are not confident in you should spend around 45 to 50 minutes in je mains and if time is left you can come back and see if the answers you have written are correct or not cool in paper attempt i would also like to add my points as he have mentioned whenever you start physics section 
you should go through all the 25 or 30 questions whatever are there whatever you are feeling okay on the go if you can solve any question or if you have solved earlier if you are confident enough to solve in one minute then you can solve it then and there and you can move to the next question whenever you go through the all 30 questions if you see some of the questions that are really difficult and you have never gone through those chapters and all then you can mark those questions because once you are done going through all the 30 questions when you are going through again then you should skip those questions because Ultimately, you should not waste your time reading the entire questions again and again. So these are some of the tips from my side for the paper attempt. Now let's move to the mistakes that most of the students do while they prepare for their physics examination. And over to you, Utkarsh. So in my case, I used to make some mistakes and I list them out for you. So emphasize on smart problem solving. In my case, I used to get stuck in a single problem and waste my time on that. So you shouldn't do that. If you are not able to solve that question, just move on. They are the closest thing to replicate the final exam which you are going to give. If you are watching lectures for so long without doing any kind of question practice, you shouldn't do that because that will not be worth the time you are giving on those lectures. Because you are telling about the mistakes, I also remember some of the mistakes that I used to do while I was preparing for physics and all. What I used to do is I was not able to plan anything in a structured way. For example, if I have to solve some of the chapters, I randomly picked up some of the chapters, I randomly picked some of the previous year questions and started solving them. But instead of that, as we have given you the important questions, as we have given you the weightage questions, and we have also highlighted the easy chapters, average chapters and difficult chapters for you in that, you should follow those, you should start with that, follow a structure, plan it really well such that, okay, in this one week, I have to solve these questions and in the next one month, I will be solving these questions and all. So. This is the biggest mistake that most of the students do, which I used to do, that is basically not having any proper structure. So these are some of the mistakes that I used to do. And there are several other mistakes that students do while they're preparing for their JMS examination. And they also do the mistake in managing boards and JE. If we just go on saying there are several other mistakes that students do. So we have particularly made a separate video where we have discussed the general mistake that students do in their last three months. So if you have not watched that video, it will be linked in the description and also it will be there in the i button above. You can go and check it out. And we have made several other strategy videos for JE mains, boards and all. So I would really appreciate you to go and check out those videos and note down whatever is being told in the video. It's not like listening to the video and getting motivation. And after one or two days, you are like uh, not preparing at all. You should not do that. And this was overall strategy from Utkarsh to make you the god of physics. And if you want to discuss with Utkarsh or any of topper seniors of yours, then there will be a telegram group that is linked in the description. Along with that, I will also link LinkedIn account of Utkarsh where you can go and directly chat with him. Or if you have any further doubts, feedback, suggestion or anything, feel free to comment down in the comment section. And if you are really passionate about computer science and want to make your career into computer science, I would really appreciate you to check out Scalar School of Technology where your senior Utkarsh is studying. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. Like this video, share this video with your friends and also make sure you subscribe to our channel for more such awesome content. And thank you and all the best. Thanks for watching.